Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I get a lot of questions about how to make shake allergy, so I thought I would get all my stuff out here. Um, hopefully I'm not going to spill anything. And I'm going to go over just some of the ways that I make mine so that you have an idea of what to do. So, um, I'm going to start with my favorite way of making my shake allergy. Uh, my favorite happens to be chocolate. And how I make mine is that I use my magic bullet. You can use a Nutra bullet, you can use, or Nutra whatever it is, um, a Vitamix, just a regular blender. Uh, so I like these because it's easy to clean up and make them. So I've got a little bit of crushed ice in here. And a trick of what I do, I freeze bananas. Can you see those? Uh, so when they get really ripe, I break them off into pieces. I usually try to do some halves, some quarters of a banana. Um, I put them on wax paper on a plate in the freezer. So it flash freezes them. Once they're frozen, I take a Ziploc bag and dump them all in here. So then these are all ready in the freezer for my shakes. So I'm going to take just a quarter of a frozen banana, put it in my cup. Um, a quarter of a banana is really just half of a purple. So when you're keeping track of things, I know that I can have another half of a purple of fruit later on. Um, so that might be like one clementine or a half of an apple. Um, so I've got my half a frozen banana, some frozen ice because I like mine kind of thick. Um, so one scoop of chocolate shake allergy and one scoop of shake allergy equals a red, equals one of your proteins. Okay, so I've got that. Um, PB2, if you've never had it, this is awesome stuff. It's powdered peanut butter. It has less fat and calories than regular peanut butter. So two tablespoons is only 45 calories and 1.5 grams of fat. How does this fit into um, 21 Day Fix? Mm, you could just use your teaspoon of regular natural peanut butter. Um, I don't even use a full serving. I'm going to get like one tablespoon out and maybe not even use a whole tablespoonful. Um, I just like it for the flavor, so it adds a little bit of peanut butter flavor for me. And it doesn't have a lot of calories and fat. I might count it as one of my teaspoons. Sometimes I can get away with not counting it at all. So it's just one of those little extras. Um, I guess kind of like a little cheat that I do. So just a tiny bit of flavor in there. Um, coconut milk or almond milk? I usually have coconut milk. Right now I have unsweetened almond milk. Um, this is a little bit more calories and it counts more in your yellows. Take a look on um, page 27. It will show you how you can substitute out um, some other milks for yellow containers. And you actually get a lot. So like for this unsweetened coconut milk, you can get 12 ounces um, two times a week and that would be a yellow container. Now, I like my yellows too much. Those are your carbs, so I don't want to give it up on this. But 16 ounce, or 12 ounces is a, is a whole lot. I really only use like um, maybe six ounces. I kind of measured it out in here. Um, each, even six ounces is a, is a lot. I like a little bit just to make it a little more creamy. So I'm not even using a full serving. Um, and then I add water, a ton of water. I don't even know how much. I just fill it up. And this is a tall blender bottle. The more liquid, the more it fills me up. That's why I like it. So I screw on my nifty blender bottom. It's going to be loud. Sometimes it takes a little extra. I give it a little shake because of the frozen banana and ice in it. That's it. So you can see it's a little bit watery. It's not super thick. And again, this is a personal preference. Do you like it watery? Do you like it thick? It's good. Now, disclaimer, if you think this is going to taste like a Wendy's Frosty, eh, it's close. Um, but it's not a milkshake, okay? Any type of healthy shake, it's, it can be an acquired taste. Some people like it right from the get-go. I don't mind it. I've liked it right from the beginning. Um, especially when I blend it like this. Some people it might take a little bit of getting used to. It's not a milkshake, okay? We are watching what we eat. This is chock full of so many good things. I mean, you're getting greens in here, chia, which reminds me, um, Shakeology can get very thick. It has a lot of healthy things in it, like the chia seed, which expands when it gets, um, when there's liquid with it. So it, be careful, because if you don't like it thick and it gets thick, you're going to just 
think it's disgusting and not want to do it. You just have to play around with your liquid levels. So another way that I do mine, I do like mine also just not blended. And this is so easy for me when I'm working or just need something really quick on the go. Again, I maybe add six ounces, just a tiny bit of the milk um, to make it creamier. Um, I add some Shakeology. Add a scoop. That's one red. I add water. A ton of water. When I do it without being blended, I like mine really just watery. I don't know why. It's like a really watered down chocolate milk, I guess. Um, you put your blender top on. Everyone gets a shake a cup with their program. Give it a good shake. And then I add ice cubes to this. And then I go. So I take it with me. The ice keeps it really, really cold. The ice starts to melt and makes it even a little more watery. Um, and that's how I like mine. So I'll drink it just like this. Um, like I said, I'll take this off, take this thing out. I'll add some ice cubes and that's fine for me. So if you don't add a lot of liquid, it'll get thick. If you let it sit in your car, it'll get really thick. Um, you'll have to shake it up good. Uh, if you blend it, I like, like I said, I like blending it with a frozen banana. It adds a little bit of a creamy texture and I like adding some of the milk with it. Um, but play around with how much water and liquids you use. You might want to measure a little bit out at first or eyeball it until you find a consistency that you like. So um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. But I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek on how I like to make mine. Um, hopefully that will get you started for a couple days and play around with it um, and see what you like. So reach out with any questions. Good luck. Talk to you soon.